How's it going? <clears throat> I'm Anthony Todd. This is problem number nine of my unit four uh, review of linear momentum from my AP Physics 1 and AP Physics C, or heck, if you're in college classes. So let's get started. Here we have a free response qu uh, question, okay, and I really like this problem. Okay. You have a bullet of mass M and a velocity of V naught is fired towards a block of thickness L naught. So this is some thickness of block in mass M. The block is initially at rest on a frictionless surface. The bullet emerges from the block with a velocity of V naught divided by three, or third of its original velocity. Question A asks, determine the final speed of the block M. Okay, so this is all being done algebraically. So we know that in this situation, the momentum before the collision has to equal the momentum final. So this is an inelastic collision, okay? And we see right here, frictionless surface, that's very important. So what that means is momentum is conserved. Okay, it doesn't matter what type of collision, momentum is conserved. So remember, momentum is just mass times velocity. So I know the mass of that bullet, just little m times v naught, plus big M times zero. Now, remember, this is all my initial. Okay, so how fast is the bullet going initially? How, pa how fast is the big block moving initially? Okay, so this is gonna go to zero. After the collision, I'm looking for the mass times the velocity final, put VF for this, of this big block. And I know that the little block is moving with M, or its mass, times some V, some velocity initial, all over three. Okay, so it's actually reduced its velocity by a third. So the question is, let's solve for this. So I'm gonna move this over here. So we have m v naught minus m v naught. So m times v naught. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna write the v naught for the m, forgive me. All over three is equal to big M vf. And right here, we have to do some uh, you know, factors, turn this into a fraction, three over three. Okay, don't forget your little basic math skills, children. So that's just two m v naught. Okay, so that's just three minus one, it's two m v naught all over three. It's equal to m v f, and solving for v f, this could be a vector, sorry. Solving for VF, we're just going to divide both sides by big M, and you get this, 2 little m times velocity initial divided by 3 big M. And that's going to tell me how fast, how fast the big block is moving after the collision. Okay. Problem B states this. Now, instead of the block being held, now, it, now instead the block is now held fixed. So imagine, you know, someone's taking their finger and holding this block. So it's holding it fixed. It's not allowed to slide. The bullet emerges from the block with a velocity of V over two, so only half the original velocity. Determine the amount or how much loss in kinetic energy was done. Okay. So we know that the kinetic energy initial was just equal to the mass of the bullet, so little m, times V naught squared all over two. So that's how much we had initially. Now afterwards, so how much kinetic energy final did we have? All right. Um, we know that the kinetic energy final would be the little mass of the bullet times V naught squared over two divided by two. Okay, so this gives me this. So that's M V naught squared divided by four. Okay, so whenever you divide, we're going to divide, remember, don't forget this, this two right here. So whenever you divide by two over one, you multiply by the reciprocal one over two, and this gives me m v naught squared all over eight. Okay, so that's how much kinetic energy final I had. Well, remember, the change in kinetic energy is equal to kinetic energy final minus the kinetic energy initial, so final minus initial. So we're gonna have m v naught squared over eight minus m v naught squared all over two, okay? So again, we gotta use uh, some fractions here. The least common denominator in this case is eight, so this is gonna stay the same. Minus four 
v naught squared all over eight, okay? And this gives me negative three v naught squared divided by eight. And that's how much kinetic energy was lost in this actual collision here, okay? So again, very good problem. Like it, like it a lot. All right, let's look at part. Oops, that's not. Forgive me. Let's look at part number C. So now we're going to assume that the retarding force that the block material exerts on the bullet is constant in terms of L naught. What is the minimum thickness L? Okay, so what is the minimum thickness L? Should a fixed block of similar material have the B in order to stop the bullet completely? So how thick does this bullet have to be? Okay, so what we're going to do is, this is part C, if we're going to look at um, work. Now, we know work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. And we also know that work is equal to some negative force times some distance D. Okay, and we know that in this case, this distance D will be equal to, you know, some L naught here. So let's find how much force this material applies to this bullet. All right, so what's interesting is we can rewrite this to look something like this. Our change in kinetic energy is equal to the negative force times L naught. That's still force times distance, okay? So we're still kind of using this. We're just using the terms the problem asked for. And we actually know that the change in kinetic energy, we know what it is. We found it out. It's negative three uh, over eight V naught squared, okay? And remember, change in kinetic energy is just kinetic energy final minus initial. So we've already done that. So negative F L naught. So if I want to find how much force this object applies, well, obviously, watch this. I just gotta solve for F, so these go away. So the force that the material applies to the bullet as it's traveling through is equal to three V naught squared divided by eight L naught. Okay, so that's interesting. So now, in order to stop the bullet, so to stop it, the bullet's still coming out with a, with a remember, it's still, the problem states that, that the bullet is still moving out. So we got this little bullet here with a velocity that's half of the original. So what that means is we, we must lose one half mv squared, okay? We still have to lose this much energy, okay? So remember, if this is mv squared, that's how much it has. If I take away negative mv squared over two, that means, guess what? It's gonna equal zero. So we still have to lose um, uh, a lot. So now, if we know that, and we know we're going to do the same, the same thing, that mv naught squared all over 2, okay? So we know this is my how much change in kinetic energy that we have to lose, per se. It's negative. You've got to lose half, per se. And we know that our force is going to be force times distance. We know the force, this is going to be 3 v naught squared all over 8 L naught, so we know that force, and we're looking for this distance L right here, so what is that going to be? So let's just go ahead and solve for this. So these cancel out, so again I'm still using change of kinetic energy. So let's go ahead and solve for this. So we get 8 L naught times M V naught squared, right, divided by 6 V naught squared. And how we get that is, remember, the 6 v naught uh, is just 3 times 3, 3 v naught squared times 2. So that goes away, that goes away. All right. And, uh, oh, I forgot a mass in here. I forgot a mass. Yeah, I forgot a mass. Did I forget my mass? Yeah, I forgot my mass over here, my force, guys. Forgive me. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot my mass right here. Okay, that doesn't really change anything. I just forgot my mass. So this mass is also um, on the bottom. Forgive me about that. And so this mass will go away, and this mass will go away, and it leaves me with this. So this, this works down to four over three L naught is equal to L. So this block was roughly 133% uh, larger um, 
it would actually stop this bullet. So